Hey everybody, Abolitionist Jay here with today's vlog. It's currently about 1 o'clock on Saturday, June 30th, 2018. And I am back on Long Island, unfortunately. <laughs> um, I mean, yes, obviously I needed to come back here so I could see my kids, but I really hate this place. And it was so nice being away from here, except from being away from the kids. But everything else, it was, uh, it was great being away from here for uh, a week and a half. But... Yeah, Murder Dog and I finally returned yesterday after spending, you know, we spent uh, five nights, or six nights, yeah, six nights at the, uh, I think, five nights, yeah, five nights at the Windows Peace and Liberty Fest, and then three nights at Ben Stone's house, and then yesterday we left uh, our friend Paulie Gordon's house, we had uh, spent one, we had spent the night there after we left Ben's, and uh, yesterday... Uh, I guess around 11 a.m. or so, we headed out and made our way back up here. And, of course, as soon as we got close to New York, I got reminded of how bad the New York traffic is because by 1 o'clock in the afternoon on a Friday, there was already traffic jams everywhere, standstills on the Belt Parkway and whatnot. And, yeah, it took us a while to get home. Or, well, we are home. <laughs> I keep saying that. We're home right now. I'm actually sitting on my back porch. Uh, but, yeah, back back towards the kids. And then, unfortunately... Once we got up here, uh, we didn't get to see him right away because uh, Jen was busy. She had to. Uh, she had some training things she had to do for work, so we had to wait. By the time they all got, all got ready, uh, it was like three or so before we finally got to get together and hang out for a little bit. But it was brutally hot yesterday too, so you know we couldn't do all too much because well, murder dog can't stand the heat like that. So went and got some ice cream with the kids. Went and hung out at the dog park where there's some shade for a little while, and then uh, we went out to dinner. Well, I don't know if you call it McDonald's dinner, but that's what they wanted last night. So you know, hadn't seen him in a, hadn't seen him in over a week, and that's what they asked for. So I said, fine. You know, we can sit in the air conditioning and eat that. And I uh, I burned a lot of gas yesterday. I mean, I, I burned a lot of gas on all the driving I did <laughs> out to Michigan, down to down to Southern Ohio, over to the Lehigh Valley in PA, and back up here. Uh, but yesterday just burned a lot because, well, had to leave the car running with uh, the air conditioning on because, uh, you know, like I said, Murder Dog can't really handle the heat like that. So it's the best thing I could do for her in these conditions. And, well, that's what we did. So, you know, like I said, we got to hang out with the kids for, uh, unfortunately, only about four hours or so because they were hot, they were ornery, and, and they wanted to go swimming again at their uh, where, where they live. So, and as I've discussed before, I can't follow them there. So... They left me around 7.30 or so and went to go for their night swimming. And then Murder Dog and I uh, went to go figure out where we were going to stay for the night. Uh, ended up having a really long phone conversation with Lou Fien, which was, uh, which was fun because Lou and I, you know, we've been friends now for a long time. We've done shows together. Uh, we hang out every year at the Midwest Peace and Liberty Fest now, but we don't talk that well, you know, we don't talk that often. But he had actually messaged me when I was at Ben Stone's house. He texted me and said that he wanted to talk. He had a project in mind. And unfortunately, with being down there and then going over to Paul's house and everything, I, I kind of kept forgetting to call Lou. So I finally remembered to call him back last night, and we talked for, gosh, an hour and a half or so. And uh, he, he let me know the project he's planning on working on, or wants to do, and was wondering if I'd be interested in uh, helping him out with it. I'm not going to go into too much detail right now, because, well, it's Lou's project, so when he makes it public, then we can talk about it more. But, you know, like I said, that was a lot of fun. It's, it's always good to talk to Lou, and it, yeah, I think... Uh, I think he's got a really great idea that I'm hopefully going to be able to uh, assist him with and uh, see if we can get somewhere with it. So that's always good. And then I ended up at the uh, Planet Fitness parking lot and was, you know, making use of the Wi-Fi over there. And it wasn't until about 10 o'clock or so that I realized, oh, I can't stay here tonight <laughs> because it's the weekend. It was a Friday and that's the, you know, Friday and Saturday nights so are the, the, the only times I can't stay in the Planet Fitness parking lot overnight. Because uh, they're not open 24 hours uh, on the weekends, 24, you know, they're not open for 24 hours on the weekends. So the, even though it's private property, the cops have a tendency to uh, harass people if they're parked there uh, past midnight. So we ended up having to uh, drive down the road a bit and park at one of the other spaces we had uh, used a couple of times before we headed out to Michigan. And, you know, another, it's a good spot. We don't get bothered there because it is, uh, quote unquote, legal to park on the road there uh, as long as you're not in a truck, bus, RV, or trailer, which we're not. So, you know, parking there wasn't a problem, but it was pretty warm last night. 
Uh, Murder Dog was uh, a little uncomfortable. Uh, I did run the air conditioner a little bit longer last night once we were parked. And luckily, somewhere around like 2 a.m., the temperature finally just started to drop a little bit. And uh, I actually left the, the, the tailgate here, the window open last night, which I normally don't do if we're parked in a public area, you know, on a street like that. But it was just so darn warm. And uh, having that open actually created enough airflow that she was comfortable and she, did, she wasn't panting anymore. So we just went with it and had a little bit of a fitful sleep, unfortunately, because the heat started to get to me a little bit and I ended up waking up and whatnot. So, you know, what are you going to do? I, I've said this whole time that once it started to get hotter out, this was something we were going to have to deal with and we were going to have to figure it out. Uh, you know, if it gets brutally hot at night, then I'm probably not going to have much of a choice but to uh, get a hotel room, which unfortunately is kind of expensive around here. I think the cheapest pet hotel is $100 a night. And, you know, for New York, they mean, they meant that might not actually be that bad. But, you know, considering I'm trying really hard to stay within this, like, you know, $750, 1000 tops budget a month um, and trying to work my way down even further... Uh, spending a hundred dollars for one night, uh, it's really tough. I really don't want to do it. I mean, obviously I need to take care of murder dog and I need to make sure she's okay. So I'll do it if I have to, but I'm trying to find ways around that. We may actually end up going to pick up one of those little, uh, mini battery powered AC units that they sell at target. Uh, I think it's one of those as seen on TV things. Uh, read some reviews on it. A bunch of people said that it seemed to do the job for them. Uh, although they were actually using it in either offices or their house, and I saw a lot of people that had uh, negative reviews were all trying to use it in their house, almost as if they expected this tiny little unit to cool down an entire room. Uh, I'm hoping, I think they're like 40 bucks, so I may end up going to pick one of those up today and testing it out and see. Uh, you know, we don't have that much space in here, so hopefully it can cool down. At the very least, if it can cool down the back area where, where Murder Dog sleeps, the, then I'll be okay, because I can handle the heat better than she can. Uh, as I've talked about before, I... Years ago, I used to do Bikram yoga, the hot yoga stuff. So uh, I've learned to tolerate the heat. And uh, even today when it's kind of brutal out, I'm actually okay just hanging out. Uh, but, but also I've conditioned myself over the years with living without AC when the kids weren't around and, uh, and I didn't have any dogs staying with me. And as long as I could keep murder dog cool, even when I was in my house, I would you know not use the ACs until the absolute last possible second. So I've learned to deal with it. She hasn't. So, or at least, you know, not as well as I have. So... We're going to figure that all, all that out. Uh, unfortunately, it's supposed to be pretty hot here. It's a chance there's going to be in the hot, you know, low to mid 90s for a week. And that may get a little tiresome. Uh, so even though I just got back here, I may have to uh, leave again and uh, head a little further north to, uh, you know, where the, where the temperature is a little bit cooler to stay. Uh, there is a possibility that I could head up to Connecticut, I guess. Uh, I'd really rather not because, again, that puts me further away from the kids. Uh, but in discussions with Jen, she did say that, you know, if I did go up there, they would try to come up the next day and maybe we could go to the aquarium. I think there's the aquarium up in Mystic, Connecticut. And there is actually a free camping spot up in Connecticut too. I believe it's actually somewhere close to the, to the Mystic Aquarium. So, you know, worst case scenario, we may have to do that if it keeps being really brutal at night. You know, like I said, last night, luckily the temperature dropped enough that it was reasonably comfortable in the car. And, you know, as long as it's like that, we'll, we'll be all right. But if it gets any hotter at night, then we're definitely got to figure something out. And that's one of those things we really haven't had to deal with yet. You know, in the three weeks that we were here before we headed out to Michigan, I think there was only one night that it was hot enough that I had to keep the AC running in the car for a little while in order to keep us cool, in order to keep her cool. So, you know, we haven't had to deal with it, but this is not unexpected. It is, you know, summertime here now, and we're just about to hit July. So, you know, knew we were going to have to deal with this eventually. We was, we're, was hoping it would hold off as long as possible. And, of course, we've just been spoiled by being out on the road and being up in Michigan for a while where it was cooler. And then when we got to Ohio, it was it was, it was was warmer, but, you know, we, had a, we, had a, we could still set up our tent and stuff like that. And we uh, had a house to go inside with air conditioning where she could hang out during the day if she wanted to. And same thing when we got to PA, you know, we, when I was at my friend Paulie's house, we obviously were in his house, so didn't really have to deal with it. But now that we're back on New York, we, uh, we have to deal with these realities again. So we will figure it out. We will make do. And uh, as I said, I, I will make sure that Murder Dog is, uh, is taken care of. Uh, I, you know, I take care of her before I take care of me anyway. So <laughs> we will figure it all out. But yeah, so like I said, it's, uh, you know, 
it's good to be back around the kids, but I really hate like this, literally the, the second I hit New York, I just was reminded about how much I hate this place and how badly I want to get out of here. And unfortunately, still hurrying up and waiting for that because you know today's the 30th, so I still have like 10 days. You know, eight. Well, actually, next Monday. So yeah, like nine, ten days before my next court appearance, and then. We'll see what happens after that. Hopefully, I will uh, get a chance to leave again uh, soon <laughs> and uh, more permanently because I, I really need to get out of here. But yeah, that's uh, that's about it. It was uh, you know it was a fantastic week and a half trip that I was on, uh, despite being away from the kids, uh, as I've discussed in plenty of the other vlogs and stuff and my other little videos. Had an absolute blast hanging out with Shane Radliff for uh, for a week and uh, just getting a bond with him and uh, you know talk about Von New and Van Nomadism stuff and some plans for the future and record a bunch of uh, vlogs and podcasts and a whole bunch of different stuff we did and getting to see everybody up at the MPL Fest was of course awesome and as I've also said that was uh, I'm pretty uh, I'm pretty convinced it's the best one so far. So that was great, and of course, hanging out with Ben Stone and his family for three nights was uh, absolutely spectacular. They were wonderful, wonderful, wonderful hosts, and uh, they pretty much gave me an open invitation to come back. I, uh, you know, I had to leave because uh, I told them if I stayed there any longer, their te the tent may be there permanently. So, uh, you know, ha had to move on. But uh, they're great people, and it was really great to hang out with them. And hopefully, I will see them again soon uh, on my next trip out west. Uh, hopefully, I can make it. Work it out that I could swing down their way at least for a day or so just to say hi. And, yeah, you know, like I said, the whole thing was great. It was uh, it was definitely a, a wonderful experience and uh, quite a quite a great way to end our Murder Dog and I, our, our first month out on the road where, you know, we didn't have to worry about so many things because we were around our Ann fam. We had, you know, places to go, options, and, you know, a lot, lot nicer than what I have to deal with here in New York because uh, there's not a lot of options here, unfortunately. But that is why we're working to get out of here. So now, you know, like I said, it's about 1 o'clock now. It's pretty hot today. We are parked in the shade down at Wontaw Park. We just uh, came from the dog park where we hung out for about an hour or so. You know, Murder Dog didn't move around too much, but at least she was out of the car for a while. And now we're just waiting on the kids to figure out where we can meet up today kind of feel bad I know they love to swim and they have a little pool at their house that they that they love to use and I'd love to just tell them to just hang out there for the day and enjoy the pool but then of course I don't get to see them so we'll have to figure something out and like I said depending on uh, the temperatures later tonight we'll uh we'll adjust accordingly and do what we have to do possibly pick up that little mini AC unit and see if that actually does any good for us and yeah and then after uh after tonight, then tomorrow night, we can go back to Planet Fitness and uh, stay there, which, you know, on one hand kind of sucks because it is in a, you know, asphalt parking lot. So it does get a little bit warmer there, but we do have the convenience of being able to use the Wi-Fi and also being able to go inside, especially, you know, after tomorrow, after tomorrow night when they're open 24 seven, well, 24 five, when they're open for the, when they're open for 24 hours a day for five days, then we could stay there, you know, whenever we want and go inside whenever we want. And, you know, if I have to go to the bathroom or if I want to take my shower, or if I actually get around to feeling like working out, we can do all those things. So that convenience kind of outweighs the couple extra degree temperature change we have to deal with by being in a parking lot. Plus, we usually don't get there until late at night anyway and usually clear out before it gets too warm in the morning. So that's probably where we will end up uh, tomorrow night. We just got to deal with tonight. And then, yeah, after that, just uh, keep plodding along until next Monday. And then when that court, ca court, uh, court case comes up, actually, by the time this, this vlog actually comes out, it'll be, it'll be the, the, the coming Monday because this probably won't come out until you know Monday or Tuesday, I guess, actually, because I'm still a little bit behind. But I am slowly catching up. I did skip a couple of days here and there. So hopefully, I think by Tuesday, I'll be back on track where there'll be daily vlogs and they'll be posted that day. Anyway, so yeah, just going to bide our time until that, uh, until that court date and then hopefully find out some more information and then know if I can uh, start making some more trips and start planning out my life finally. But yeah, other than that, Vanarchy life is, has been pretty good and don't have too many complaints. So still enjoying it and still encouraging other people to you know test this out if they get the opportunity because it's, it's it's quite a, a liberating and interesting and uh wonderful experience <laughs> so with that i think i'm going to sign off gotta go uh, check my phone see if uh, we figured out anything to do with the kids 
so I could see them today. And uh, yeah, I will be back. Well, I'll probably record another one tomorrow. Maybe not. You guys will hear from me. We'll, uh, like I said, we'll be back on track in a couple of days, and then I'll start putting these up daily again. And hopefully, I'll have some more, uh, some more better information. So, once again, thank you everybody for watching. This has been Abolitionist Jay, and uh, I'll catch you next time. Peace, y'all.